Okay, first thing, I'm sick, so I apologize for my voice, and I apologize if I have to edit the video because I need to pause to cough or sneeze or wipe my nose or something. And small apology, I have been—I know I've been tagging my videos wine and dollies or tea and dollies, even though I don't drink wine or tea, just because I'm trying to get that crowd, that kind of just doll chat video vibe for people doing searches. However, because my throat hurts, I do have a nice strawberry smoothie and dollies this week. Alright, so being sick, not too happy. Period started yesterday, not too happy. So that Etsy announcement, I understand that my judgment now is not good, so I'm not doing anything yet in reaction to the Etsy announcement, but my initial reaction is no. I do not want to give Etsy my bank account as it stands. Having had time to think about it, I can of course open another bank account. I have enough with my bank that I can open a new account that has very little in it and not get hit by fees. But I haven't been doing so well with Etsy. It's really hard to um, drive search results to doll clothes made for a specific brand of doll when the manufacturer of that brand of doll has contacted you with a cease and desist using the name of that brand of doll order. So pretty much all my Etsy sales in the last few years when I have had them have been driven from me posting in other places saying hey I have stuff up on Etsy and then people go from that place to Etsy. They're not finding them on Etsy. So I might look into other ways of selling that don't involve Etsy or I might just open a new bank account for Etsy only and work from there. It's not mandatory until May 17th, which is amusing because everything that I have listed on Etsy right now expires on May 16th. So, um, so and this is not I don't want to discuss the Etsy thing here in the YouTube venue. I have been researching, I've been reading the forums, I've been discussing things elsewhere. My mind is going to be made up by me. And telling me one way or another what you think I should do is just going to make me smile politely and ignore you. So, the Etsy thing, everyone has their opinions on it. That's fine. You have no problem with it, that's fine. You're running screaming, that's fine. Everyone has different different lives. So, that's out of the way. Now on to the dolls. Uh, you follow me on Instagram, you know that last Friday night I impulsively started a reroute on the curvy fashionista with the darker skin and the goddess sculpt who I had been using to model the tank dress pattern as I was getting it progression to finished, which I don't know if I mentioned in the video last week, that pattern is released. It's on um, Flickr. I think I put a link in last week's video description. I will put it in this description also. So I don't have any dolls wearing the tank dress right now, but again, that's on Flickr and it's been on Instagram. And so Friday night, I impulsively decided I didn't like the brown hair on that doll and I didn't like her rock-solid glue head. So I sat down and I cut all of her hair off and I... Chip, what are you doing? And I um, got all the glue hair out of her head and I just started impulsively. I hadn't even put much thought. I knew I wanted to reroute her eventually, but I hadn't put any thought into it. So the hair I had the most of is hair that other people have cut off of Monster High Rochelle going... Chippy! Chippy! Come on! Come on! Hello, Chippy! People haven't seen you for a while. Yes. So I had a lot of pink. Since it was Rochelle's hair, it had the blue streaks in it, and I do love that color blue. I would like to reroute an entire doll in that color blue, but just the, the streaks in the hair I have, so I'm not worried about it yet. So I picked all the blue out, and I rerouted her. It's not your smoothie, Chip. So, Chip, what are you doing? 
after I rerouted her. Yes, Chippy. Yes, Chippy, good boy. I also painted over her eyes so they would be darker brown and I thickened the upper lash line so it would be fuller to make her eyes a little less staring. And I painted her eyebrows to be brown, not brown, from brown to black. So she has her stock paint under the changes. I also gave her blush. But I like the pink hair with the red lipstick. And I haven't given her a proper name yet. I was going to... Chip's still acting weird. I don't know if you heard that meow. He's wound up. I actually realized after I got this hair going on her that I no longer have any interest in Ever After High Gingerbread House because this is kind of that color combination. So, that's this doll. I originally thought I would give her a really short pixie cut, and I might still do that, but if you've done a reroute, you know that as soon as the reroute is done, you tend to want to just leave it because of all you've worked to put in, you put into it. And because I have Instagram now, I actually made the deliberate choice to take a picture after every hour of work, so I have definitive record that it took me right around six hours to reroute this and I use the anchor thread method. I know it will be faster, there are other methods that are faster, but it's just the anchor thread method works with my brain. So and this yukata she's wearing, very casual, made it ages ago for a female action figure. It never quite fit the female action figures right. It doesn't really fit her right, but it fits pretty good. So I am happy with this look for her. Although I have been giving her glasses just because, you know, you give dolls glasses whenever you can. So, since I had the paints out, hold on, since I had the paints out to alter her face paint, I decided, you know that cat boy I impulsively put together with the um, knockoff catwalk kitty's head and the Disney Descendants guy body? and then I glued the pink fake fur little bits around his head for hair. I decided I would go ahead and paint him. No thought went into this at all. I just sat down and grabbed whatever paint color seemed vaguely appropriate and just started painting. And, and then after I got him painted, I thought, well, she's a new yukata. They can go together. He'll be a new yukata. Oh, this yukata is even worse than hers, and these are the only sandals I have and yeah. <laughs> so here he is. I hope I'm actually holding him in front of the camera. And as usual there are better pictures on Instagram and Flickr. Again his yukata is not great. I made this really really fast. But yeah, I'm, I'm not thrilled with him. I think he's one of those projects that I did just to see if I could, just to see what would happen if I did it. So he might actually end up on the sales list whenever I get around to it. And I have started pulling dolls to potentially be on the sales trade list and a few other things, not dolls. And I have them in a box and I'm going to think about them for a while. This, this being sick. Oh, and the kiddo, if you remember his, his nasty cough that you might have heard last last week's video because we had the weather warning so we got home from school early. Took him, he was still coughing Monday morning. I said to him, you can go to school or you can go to the doctor. And he said, doctor, I'm tired of this. Which when an eight-year-old says that, you know he's serious. So we went to the doctor, the doctor said, oh yeah, it's just allergies. We'll get you some, we'll get you some nice allergy medicine prescribed. But just because it's procedure, we're gonna do a strep test. And then the strep came back positive. So, strep throat, yay. I don't think that's what I have. I do have allergies myself. So again, I apologize for the way I sound. I actually sound better than I did this morning. <laughs> so after we finished with his doctor's appointment, going from the doctor's office to Walmart to pick up his prescription, the post office was in the way. So I stopped there just to check the P.O. box and I had a package from Cheshire Tiffy, which I she, she sent me warning that I was getting it. I knew it was there. I didn't know what it was. And it is the Skipper, 1987 Skipper she repainted. I have had this theory for ages that the 1987 Skipper head, oh, I forgot to grab the stock example. This is a stock 1987 Skipper. 
This is from one of the actual first releases of her in 87 too. So she has large eyes. Barbie was moving toward larger eyes in general then. But after I got older and started reading about the history of Barbie, that's when I discovered that around the time this head would have been sculpted was also around the time that um, Mattel and Takara stopped working together to have Takara make a doll called Barbie. And Takara just went on to making Jenny. And my theory is that Mattel thought, we'll just make our own enemy, Japanese-style doll face. And, and that was this. And then they said, nah, we'll just sell regular old Barbie in Japan. What can we do this face? Hey, let's make your skipper. I, of course, have no idea if this is true. I just think it's interesting how the dates line up. So I have said for years, wouldn't it be interesting to see this skipper face painted in a Takara slash anime slash manga style. I don't have the skills to do that. I am terrible at painting that style. Cheshire Tiffy, though, paints just about everything well. Don't listen to her when she says she doesn't. She does. So she got one of these skippers, and she painted it following a Takara Jenny she had. And then because it was my idea, I guess, she sent it to me, and I am grateful because she is adorable. And because I wanted this head, she had sent her, okay, backing up, most of these 1987 skipper heads, or dolls, the bodies they're on, the necks, deteriorate and crack because they're so little. If you have much experience with Barbies from the late 80s, early 90s, you know a lot of them, their necks crack. I don't know if plastics changed or if that's just or or construction changed or what changed but a lot of those dolls have cracked necks and the little the skippers and the stacys with their little kid necks tend to suffer even more so she got in the doll i think with a bad neck so following my, my my advice she got a high school musical body and the high school musical bodies are great bodies for these 1987 skipper the neck is more durable and just because they're newer they're not crumbling apart and they can wear you know more blythe size. Well, that's a little more modern body style. I'm starting to ramble. But, you know, I like articulation. So, wanting a articulated body for this head led me to revisit the um, Disney Jack Specific is it Jack's? Star Darling body, which is a cute body, although, as I always point out, it has the weird leg pin that I might figure out how to work around eventually. And this big lump at the top of the neck is really hard to find heads to fit on it. If you can get a head over that lump, it sits down really, really low. So I actually did a lot of work, not a lot of work with the Dremel, carving down this neck to be, I mean, I probably in the end could have cut this part off. First, all I did was grind it down to be the same diameter as the actual rest of the neck, but then the head still sat on it really weird, so I put this groove into it so that the flange on the inside of the head could sit smoothly in it instead of bulging out on top of the neck. So she gets articulation, and it's a great skin tone match, considering they're separated by decades in manufacturers and aesthetics. So that's a great thing. I sent a thank you off to Tiffy this morning. There are, I'm getting, I'm, I'm working through my list of people to send Dolly thank yous to for sending me stuff. Um, but then in the post office today was another box. This one I was contacted by someone who says, hello, I really like your videos. I said, thank you. I would like to send you something. What? And they said, I haven't watched your videos much, but I have an idea what you like. I'm not entirely sure. And I'm so curious that I couldn't resist that. I have not opened this yet. I will now. So, of course, I will be making a thank you gift for this, whatever it is, because that's the deal. If someone wants to send me something, I'm going to send them something back. Mostly it'll be clothes. It'll be homemade clothes, because that's what I do. Um, this person has a Facebook group for their doll pictures called Nine Years of Pilgrimage. I've looked at it. They are very cute dolls. I will put a link. 
Thank you for the note. Alright, I think I see Claude. Uh, again, I apologize for my voice and my throat and my nose and everything. Alright, this looks like... I know this is when I pulled it out, at least in the package. It looks like... It really reminds me of... Um, hold on. I mean, I know it's not, but it really reminds me of this. This Barbie dress. It's just a similar... Oh, there's more cloth inside there. Cool. And I can use little bits of cloth because dolls don't take much and because, you know, I love patchwork. But it's like the same feeling. And I see this has a border on it, so... Or at least it's cut so it looks like it's a border, so it's skirt. Mm -hmm. It's Tweety Bird! Is it? Oh yeah, this I can easily make into a shirt with this and tights and things. Thank you. More cloth? Oh, that's cute. I love prints. Is that knit? I don't know if you noticed when I was working on the pattern for the tank, pull on tank just for Kirby, I was mostly using plain t shirt knits. Part of that is because I wanted to make sure that the pattern would work with the t-shirt knit, which is what people are going to have the most common access to. But also, I didn't have much knit, even vaguely appropriate, besides the t-shirt knit. But stuff like this can be used. Oh, well, that's cute. This Oh, it's... Yeah, that's probably going to become um, leggings, tights. You never have too much Halloween cloth. There's so much stuff in here. Mm -hmm, Alex. Uh, I'm always passing over these and always regretting that I should use these for a doll head of some sort. So maybe I will try this one for a doll head. I am not good enough to rig up um, LEDs myself, but it's getting easier and easier to find LEDs. Ah, studs. I have also been, oh, I forgot to mention another thing that Tiffy very, very, very kindly sent was an evil supply company applique or patch, which I forget what it's called. It's like the Haunted Farmer's Market. I'll put a link up. It's this, which is just adorable. And it's made me re re remind me that I want to make a motorcycle jacket. I have a pattern for a motorcycle jacket, and I have several different combinations of cloth I'd like to make into the motorcycle jacket. I just have to actually get around to prying it. And then here's a load of um, studs. So that's just one more thing saying, hey, make that motorcycle jacket already. Bows. Trim. I can find a use for anything. I especially, I do like getting things I never thought of having before because then that challenges my brain to figure out what to do with them. Yeah, that would be very easy to turn into skirts for more dolls. I tell you, if I had the body I used to have, I would wear these myself. But I have a mom body. Oh, yarn. I always can use more yarn. And good Halloween colors, too. Ah, you're making me think about Halloween already. I mean, I'm always thinking about Halloween, but it's, you know, April is, it's only half a year until Halloween once we get to the end of April. Oh, nice little broom. I do eventually want to do a tutorial for making um, witch brooms, but I will be using thread for the, for the uh, sweepy part. The only medicine I'm on right now is acetaminophen. I shouldn't be as ditzy as I am, but I'm sorry, I am ditzy. So there's that for now. Uh, brooms I don't have to make are good. No customize. I actually do not have this doll yet. I like the additions you made to make it more punk. And I see, I see the pictures of her and people saying she is the cutest fashionista, and she is. And I just, I hadn't gotten her, and by the side, I decided would. She was gone. But now I have a 
punk version of her because she has tattoos and piercings and thank you. And have have you people seen you people? Um, the pictures from Mattel, I think I don't know if it's on their Instagram or their Facebook, where they are releasing a twenty dollar playset with a fashionista's not made to move level articulation but fashionista's articulation in this skin tone. And it's like how many of us are going to have it's like it's a, like a home recording studio set. So the, there's the doll and then there's a guitar and then there's a keyboard and then there's a microphone and there's like a um, headphones. So we're gonna have all these um, keyboards and guitars and things and unwanted heads because but we're gonna have articulation then. So really looking forward to having um, an articulated body in at least roughly the skin tone that I don't have to paint and then handle delicately forever and ever because I'm afraid I'm gonna scrape the paint off. Okay. And there's a very nice note at the bottom saying thank you. Hope you have a lovely day. Aha! <laughs> Arms and legs and feet. Porcelain doll feet. This could be fun. And arm and, and two two sets of hands. Of course I want to use those all in some doll. Alright, and this one has a note that says, I hope you love her. Alright, it's the other uh, Kirby Fashionista that I hadn't bought yet, but had been wishing that I did. One of the pink hair. And she has been pierced and be tattooed. So that's cool. Yes, yeah, she'll be a good one to wear the tank dresses because it's going to show off all those tattoos. So that is a great box. Thank you so much. Uh, nine years of pilgrimage. Oh, I, I hadn't forgotten it. So I will put links to your Facebook and people can see your cute dolls. And thank you again so much for this great package. There's a lot of inspiration in it. As the problem is I get a package like this and I want to make everything from that, which pushes aside all the other stuff I've had to do. But I really need to get the sales trade list going. And I will do that after I blow my nose. Eh, sometime. Thanks.